The humor found in a prairie vernacular is sometimes light and funny, and at times dark. Playfulness, which differs from humor, can mean approaching the making of an artwork in a playful manner. Some of these prairie artists allowed themselves to be playful as they worked through their artistic ideas. Playfulness lets us use our intuition or gut feelings to inform our artistic work through experimentation. In the exhibition, we can discover artists who each have their own unique perspective on the notion of play. Like playfulness, humor can energize and inform artistic creativity. Artists may use new combinations of thought and be open to having unexpected influences, encouraging curiosity, and an element of surprise in their work. Unlike playfulness, however, artistic humor may be dark at times, with satire, irony, and disconcerting juxtapositions that charm and disarm while disrupting expectations and producing new and possibly uncomfortable understanding. Joe Fafard couldn't help but see the world through an aesthetic of humor, irony, and playful irreverence. Once asked why he put humor in his works, he replied, I don't put any humor into my work, I just don't bother taking it out. Joe Fafard, Victor Sikansky, and Russell Uristy engage the viewer's sense of fun while grounding their work in the prairies. Their funk ceramics of the 1970s and 1980s continues through to their contemporary work in a variety of media. Jordan Van Sewell shares funk ceramics' earlier edginess and its comic, caricaturing vernacular aesthetic in works such as Devil's Wrecking Ball. Jordan was born in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, and worked for the Canadian Pacific Railway from age 15 through his schooling at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg. Jordan's railway history often surfaces in his ceramic sculptures and relief work and he sometimes addresses difficult contemporary issues with an underlying sense of irony and humor. Jordan has been creating clay works for more than 40 years at his home base studio in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Diana Thornycroft's Cibachrome print, Martyrdom Near Moose Jaw, generates a humorous but biting satire through her use of toy and doll forms that reverberate the cheery playfulness of earlier vernacular craft. Diana is a Winnipeg-based artist, working primarily in photography and installation sculpture. Diana is known for her photographic work based on dioramas depicting various aspects of the Canadian psyche, often addressing difficult issues within society from a satirical perspective. The playfulness projected in works like Janet Mitchell's And On This Farm and Jane Zednick's Bull Create an immediate and open appeal to viewers. We discover a playful use of color and experimentation with materials. Sidney Kelsey created the quirky blue picture stand. He was born in Windsor, Nova Scotia in 1928 of Caribbean heritage. He joined the Canadian Navy at age 16, then worked at logging camps. After a serious logging accident, Sidney worked as a house painter until he retired due to his injuries and began cutting out and painting wood shapes that he hung in the yard of his Edmonton home. Passerby would occasionally ask to buy individual pieces. Gradually, Sidney's art began to attract attention from serious collectors and art dealers. Completely self-taught, his art is the product of his own imagination, although critics have pointed out connections to African-American yard art creators. In 1996, Sidney's artwork was included in a major folk art exhibition at the McMichael Collection of Canadian Art. The idea that play informs our understanding of the world and our place in it underlies many of the artist's works. We discover humorous disproportions in George Markle's sculpture featuring a musical rabbit in a horse-drawn wagon and his panther bear. Markle was born in Southeast Saskatchewan in 1910 and became a farmer. After retiring, he moved to Medicine Hat, where he devoted himself to sculpture with particular focus on horses and pigs. 
George's whimsy and imagination prompted him to create humorous sculptures built from found materials including jewelry, fur, branches, buttons, beads, fabrics, and toys. Amelie Atkins' fuzzy, animal-headed characters in scenes from a secret world and the imagery in Atkins' video work has a disquieting, darker edge of folklore that is transplanted into today's world. In Ground Drinker, or Grandmother, Jude Griebel uses playful and self-deprecating humor as a deliberate strategy to confront contemporary anxieties surrounding shifting environments and offer a way to address more difficult and serious meanings for viewers. His humor and playfulness subtly complicate, emotionally charge and reveal the inherent pathos of the losses of time, pollution, climate change, and humanity's voracious appetite for consumption. Learn more about the other themes in the exhibition and the rest of the AGSM Art Connects video series, which brings you up close and personal to works of art as you meet artists from the prairies.